All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back, and let's jump into this chart. So, Sundial Growers Inc., the bulls have definitely dominated this. They broke through resistance, they broke through the 50 day moving average, and they brought themselves up to this point. Right now in this 30 minute time frame, I've seen it hit 39.78, 39.70, 39.65. It's been jumping up and down. Right now it's currently at 39.78. So the bulls are fighting to continue to work their way up and hold this up. And this is live as we see it. And Sundial Growers Inc. has some important numbers to break through. More than just these resistance levels. In the near term, the highest point that they reached in this bullish run was way up here at about 42.30, right? 42.30, 42.33, give or take, but 42.30 to be to the exact T. That needs to be broken through. The bulls need to break through that. Super important. Now, the reason why this stock is probably going up because a lot of people have been um, commenting in the section down below in the previous video. And I probably do agree with you guys. I think it's the legalization in Mexico and a whole entire country nationwide. And that opens doors for business for companies like these. So I think that partially has something to do with it. And then also just bulls loading up on stocks being helpful, hopeful, excuse me. And also in the speculation of everything jumping in and attracting more investors. Now, 4230 needs to be broken through. No doubt about that. Whether it gets broken through today or the beginning of next week for the bulls to continue the run. If they don't accomplish that, this is going to have trouble to continue to work its way up and stay above the 50-day moving average. Which the 50-day moving average currently is 30 34 30 34 so if you want to write that down you're more than welcome to but since this is a live video not after hours this is actually during market hours it's going to be pretty difficult to go ahead and monitor that right and see for yourselves you know where is it moving but you can have it as a point of reference i mean it's a pretty long stretch before it gets there but i just want you guys to know that this does change as each candlestick and 30 minute time frame changes now as i was speaking it was fighting through 39.78 so forth if you look at it right here it's been jumping up and down and it's closer to the 37 mark now we can see that now it actually re-updated itself to 39.36 so it's been jumping back and forth and it's fighting to stay up but it just dropped a little bit lower every single time let's go ahead and look at our resistance level here that it's going to be super important to break through and then let's look at our support i do want you guys to know that the support level ideally is actually this one right here at 29 45 but that's such a broad stretch i wouldn't want anybody to wait till then to make a decision right or till then to then start looking at the chart so i'm gonna go ahead and informally put a support level here that i would use point of reference that makes sense to me which is the midway point and one of the lowest points before it continued to run and you can keep 2945 as a point of reference and also the 50-day moving average which is 3034 now the bulls to continue this bullish run and continue to work their way up to newer highs they need to break through 3992 literally 40 cents if you want to round that up 40 cents needs to be broken through if the bulls accomplish that and turn this into a support they could be on their way to newer highs new resistance levels and pulling further away from the 50-day moving average and continuing this momentum but keep in mind 4230 right to be to the t is the most important number right now this is the true resistance level that the bulls want to break through but before getting there, they need to break through 39.92, turn that into a support, and start to break away from that point forward to newer highs and new resistance levels. Now, on the other hand, 
we have what the bears want. And the bears want to actually bring this one down closer to the 50 day moving average to then end up in bearish territory. Because when we're above the 50 day moving average, we're in bullish territory. Now, this is the support that I recommend looking at so that you can have a midway point to see the behavior of the stock before it gets to the 50 day moving average and between resistance and the 50 day moving average and then support to kind of break down the chart and see for yourselves what is going on because even though this is still bullish territory if it breaks through this point it's going in a downward direction and since this is still bullish territory at least you can monitor it closely to see what's going on and who is truly dominating the chart so this point right here is 3449 if that gets broken through i advise every single investor to pay close attention to the behavior of this stock how quickly is it moving to newer lows and also how is it reacting as it continues to play out to work its way down and are the bulls trying to reappear to stop this from going any lower so with these cues i hope you guys are well and prepared for tomorrow's trading day and actually mondays <laughs> it's the weekend already but for monday's trading day and if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money at the end of this video there's going to be a pop-up video and in that video i will be discussing about the s p 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates as you see here on the graph these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened and i use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the s p 500 index rose on those dates and the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 3511 and the highest point reach was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302, and it rose up to about 3388. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out. See for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index. And you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make.
some money.